Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin and um, today we just want to go through a couple of uh, rig setup, actually two. One for a large, like a real professional shoot, um, music video, movie, stuff like that. Then the other would be for a wedding or some, you know, fast run and gone options. So here we're going to talk about possible setups and you know what to keep in mind when you're planning for this setup what you need and all that coming up welcome back today if you're joining us for the first time we do music movies, um, short movies, um, documentaries. If you're into acting, if you're into film, I always encourage you to connect with me. Let me know in the comments below what you do and all. If you want me to connect back at, with you, I will be glad to follow you on your journey as you follow me on mine. And hopefully we'll learn from each other. Um, click the like button, click the subscribe button, click the uh, um, go ahead and comment. And then, you know, you want to click the notification button so you get notified when we have a new video actually click the all option because that's all you can you know if you don't click the all option you're not gonna get nothing notified from youtube so we may drop a video we may do a giveaway prize you never know all right so thank you guys for being here once again uh, today we are trying to do the best options <sighs> To get ready for different situations on location and uh, i'm a big fan of um, being ready on location because uh, i have learned the hard way from several locations okay especially for rigs that you do not know for setup that you do not know even for the ones that you hire and you didn't have enough time to get acquainted i will advise that when you do hire um, 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 tools for your project you get don't do a day it's um there are usually options to to take for a week um three days stuff like that yeah that's what you should do if your shoot is uh, the weekend you should you should already have the equipment by monday and then get familiar with it do a couple of shots test and uh, even treatment on the computer to see how working with those files will look like so you get ready you know how the size, file size, how large they get. That's part of being ready for your location. So, but now let's go for actual getting ready for um, your rig. You know, for, let's start with the small rig, which is like for a wedding situation and uh, run and go kind of event where you are like fast paced. You don't have much time to, you know, to change stuff. You could go with um, the lens is the last issue to bother about. Right now I have this um, um, SLR Magic, which is a wide angle lens, eight millimeters. Now this is perfect, but it, it depends on the occasion. You might not want to use this all day on a wedding because you want to have that, you know, blurry background feel, you know, some, which will always add some emotions to a wedding and weddings require that feel. So this is good for a wedding because it will save you a lot of uh, focusing issue, but you don't want to do this all day. So we're going to leave it there, start with that, and then we'll change things as we go on. Um, for the compact wedding scene, you want to have a shorter rig. All right. This is my 18 millimeters um, rod, 18 millimeters rod. I'm not sure how much I was gonna get another one, but when I got my mad box, uh, it came with this one and I doubt if I will need it. So I may not be using this because I would love to have my mad box on this. This is already long enough to have everything on it. Okay. And usually sometimes they have extension, like an extension adapter so you can add it to it but this is already long enough so i won't be needing this for the mad box the mad box can join in here now for this one now uh, so i was going to get a shutter rig but i thought maybe this would be enough for that my run and go style i really don't know the length but but if this is 18 this is almost half i guess this is eight 
I guess this is eight. So this is less than half. So I guess this is eight. Why this is 18? Eight millimeters it is. Conclusion. And once again, I always advise mount on the tripod. It's always good. And I'll show you a video when um, I'm gonna make a video on how to mount a how to uh, balance your Moza Air or any other Kimba. It's still always easier when you put it on your stock. It's always better on the tripod. Always use your tripod for rigs and gimbals. My, just my tip. Okay, so this is off. We are doing the final set of arrangement for the, the office. I'm gonna be running that today. So this may be the last time you see this studio in this um, set, hopefully we have an actual studio tour and see what we got going on here. God has been good, so we've had some changes. Um, like I said, I got this rise from Canvat, Canvat, and uh, it's it's gonna save us save us the trouble that we had with the mad box. So now we, we hopefully we can introduce the mat box without any problem. This should go in here, like this. And of course you have the adjustable to adjust it here and you have this also to take it up and down. So you can't go wrong now. Let's get this guy in. Okay. From the side, we have to clamp this guy now so it stays in place. Okay, let's get this donut over the lens cap, spread it open, and cover it up so that the mouth is inside the mat box right now. Even though this works well, it sits quite all right, no problem with it. Let's get that out. Let's get this guy out. Let's change it. Now we're back to our meta bones adapter. The zoom lens, there's also a micro lens. All right. As this is a long lens now, we have to take it up and move it forward. We may have to take this one backwards. one goes in here all right we have it in place like this now and then you can always flip this guy open whenever you need to and change your lens the finished um, rig will look something like this from an old video that uh, uh, my old setup, which is basically the more standard professional one, which um, just without the mat box, because I had to get this um, elevator or riser or adjustable base plate before I could install the mat box. So the mat box is really the only thing that was omitted there. And um, yeah, that would be even more like a finished uh, final um, movie, short movie, music video rig. That way you are ready for handheld and shoulder um, at any point in time. Right, so now let's move on to, to the um, smaller rig on the uh, run and go wedding kind of setup. So let's get this off. Now we, um, we are going back to this base plate, which is this, the, well, about the smallest of the rig, rig uh, small rig um, base plates. For such ones, you already know, already pre-decide or already decided what lenses you are gonna use. So here we go, this is out. So I'm gonna be leaving it like this most of the time. And keep it away. We need the base plate on this guy. Okay, here we go. Get the base plate back on set. So this will be the only time we'll have to flip our cam. We won't need to be organized because uh, the screw that will keep this thing attached to the rig, small rig cage, 
You have to have that one ready. So I label them. I put pieces of paper labeling the parts in that so that I know what this screw is for. So it won't be so, it won't be so difficult to locate the screw that attaches this mount to the base plate. So too many parts, even with the labeling, it's still hard to find because you have to go through a couple of them, move them around. And um, there are two sets of parts for that. So yeah, you need to label your parts, especially when you have so many of them. So let's, let's get this one. Take it and put it on the base plate, on the tripod, lock it down, and anything else we need, we have to come on the tripod. I think this is the best way. Now, nothing will be in the way. Okay. I don't think so, hopefully not. The last thing I'm gonna be putting here will be the small rig stuff. So this will go like this. And this small rig cage will come. I told you this is always gonna be the last thing you put. Nothing else can come after it because of the way it's built. Okay, and wrap it up with our battery. And there we go, Petit. And on that, you usually will not need the tripod though, but I just wanted to have it there so we have the ease of, and then we still have the access to the screen. And now let's take it off. Even though these are dangling, I'm gonna take the wires up for now since we are not connecting it. All right. So now we unscrew and tilt it out. Here we go. 4K ready, raw ready, but yet it looks like well, nothing's happening. Portable on the go, eight millimeter. You could do something with the eight millimeter rods, okay? And um, the monitor, of course, will be on it, which I will get on it in a in a minute. If you need a follow focus, you can still put it on this setup. All you have to do is um, let's see if we can flatten this guy up. To do this and flip. I mean, it's odd, but you do what you have to do. You know, you could also do this. Uh, the monitor comes in here. If you do want to include your microphone, all you have to do is uh, get the the top handle on, which is standing on, which the monitor is standing on right there now and you know put that in tie it up let's do it okay, by a minute to get this done a minute is too long on set it could get people disorganized and then you would just not be it's going to be harder than this on that day because you just want to get it over with you'll be tensed you know so it's better for me to take that out of the equation. Then my monitor will be on this side. But you go screw, screw, almost there. All right. Now we could loosen this and get this one in shape. Okay. Now, take a peek. Where do you want it? Here, this way, that can work. 
If it changes and you no longer feeling it, you could extend it and take it back. So, but uh, I think this is compact enough, like a ladder, one step, two step, three step. I think I like it. And let me get it off. Let's see how it is in hand. All right, a little bit bottom heavy. Now I definitely would prefer this one on this side. So I can get my grip, this is in the way. So now I know that. And uh, I, I need something here, I need that. Uh... So we have other stuff to put in there. We have a hand grip from Canvate. I also have the hand grip. So as you go on, you, you decide, it's, it's fine. Actually, I could get, still get, stay, because of the weight, I could get stable shots like this. And then, you know, give another group like this. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Um, you feel the weight, but the picture, your, your pan will be stable. It will be hard for it to wobble because it's heavy. All right? So, but then try it both ways, stand it up again and see if you want to have it this way, then you know you're not needing the screen. But I always want to leave my screen accessible. Um, this is the belt um, from my Moza Air 2. It is not uh, part of the accessories, but I bought it uh, for the Moza Air 2. And uh, yes, it's called the Terminator from Digital Photo. And uh, I kind of uh, just uh, transferred it over to this rig to help out. But, uh, for me, this is uh, more important to me and I've got a project coming up. So I switched it over to this and I can always move it back and forth. But yeah, this is a uh, priority right now and it helps, it helps give support, you know. Um, not, it won't do the job of an easy rig. An easy rig will be perfect for this, ideal, because it's got a spring balance to it, but um, this is not going to do any, more any much miracle, but it will save your arm from getting tired. Um, I won't, uh, you know, it, it assist in taking that shot to the pan, you know, make everything, you know, it feels really good when you put this on. I'm sure you can use up pretty much any belt out there from strap from a bag or something as long as you know it's solid. Uh, but this works um, real good for me and um, you know carelessly you could you could let it hang a bit. I mean it will not be so comfortable but if you must let your hands go for a minute um, yes it can hold on to the rig. Um, does the magic for me. Um, once again, I'll leave the links in the description. It's the digital photo. And it's called the Terminator. And of course, I, I have a review coming up for it on the Moza Air 2 and uh, a couple of other reviews on the Moza Air coming up. Hopefully somewhere in between the rumbling and ranting, we get one or two things. Um, and then for me, I'm getting acquainted with my, my equipment. I'm getting ready for all the things I need to do, so yeah, rearrangement coming soon, rehauling of the studio, watch out for the new studio when we are done, uh, we are going to still take, we have some shots we already took, um, we'll share those videos for a while, while we're making the final touches to this studio and then I'll be glad to show you when it's ready. Yeah, that's been it, like, subscribe and comment below. Always let me have your feedback. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.